Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Please welcome to the stage Chris Swanson, everyone. So, uh, yeah, just I, I wanted to start by saying that I'm uh, I'm slightly offended by the by our friend who was on house arrest in Kensington. I think he misrepresents the community of Kensington. Um, a lot of them are actually in jail as well. So, uh, anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Um, uh, but so I should start by saying that my uh, one of my good friends offered me five hundred dollars tonight to uh, completely bomb. So if that happens, you'll understand why. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of talk going on about uh, which one is better, cats or dogs. I know it's been a lot of the, the topic of conversation amongst a lot of my friends. And uh, I have some good news. I figured it out. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, guys are always like, you dogs are better because they protect the home and they work for you. And Girls are always like, why am I single? And uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, so I, I've, I've figured it out completely. Uh, I did a lot of research and um, I hate to, hate to burden you guys with the truth here, but uh, it turns out that cats are actually better. Yes, yay. So now you know how many vegans are in the room. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, and, and here's, here's actually why. I, I, I discovered that cats are better, and I actually learned why. And it's because when cats die, it isn't sad at all. Because <laughs> uh, you can just fucking replace them with the next one. Um, but uh, no, I, I actually, um, actually, I, I just bought a dog recently, and uh, I was reading things that, you, you, that uh, dogs are not supposed to eat, right? So uh, I was going down the list, and uh, broccoli was the first one. I was like, okay, so what's going on with broccoli? Uh, that gives them diarrhea, so that's fine. Okay, so we won't give them broccoli. Um, also, tobacco was on there, which um, was pretty fucking obvious. But uh, then, um, <laughs> then uh, mixed nuts was on there. And uh, apparently that makes them throw up a little bit. So, um, but one thing that was interesting, something that did not make the list, human shit. And uh, here's the story about why I thought that was interesting. Um, <laughs> I was uh, locked out of my house a couple weeks after I bought my dog and um, decided to take a shit in my backyard it's kind of late at night, so uh, anyway, so I, I, you know, so I take a shit in the backyard and I gotta clean it up in the morning, right? So then I go out to clean it up and my shit is missing, <laughs> and I was like, "Holy shit, where is that?" Right? <laughs> uh, so um, so anyway, uh, then you know, my dog smelled like my shit, so I was like, oh, that's pretty obvious. I guess he must have eaten that. So then, uh, so I, I, I called my, I had to call my, uh, my vet and ask him, like, hey, man, like, is my dog ate some shit? Is that, like, does, is that bad for him? And he was like, well, so they had this long pause, and I was like, oh, man, he's gonna give me a lecture here about doing that. And then, um, uh, he was like, uh, well, um, by any chance, were there any mixed nuts in your shit? And I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't, no, I don't think so. And he's like, okay, well, yeah, then I think it actually should be totally fine. So I was like, all right, well, that's kind of interesting. So shit's cool, but um, so anyway, uh, also um, something that's been troubling me lately, uh, I've been... Uh, blacking out a lot lately. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever struggled with that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, blacking out is when you drink way too much and then have sex with a lot of black girls. Um, and uh, and I never knew what it used to mean. And my friends were always like, "Dude, you totally blacked out last night." And I would always be like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, dude, I'm awesome and shit." And then um, 
and then, you know, so I learned what it meant. And the good thing about learning what it means to black out is it finally makes sense about why your girlfriends get so pissed off. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, uh, I'm almost out of time, but um, I wanted to leave you with one last thought. Uh, and that is, um, I'm out 500 bucks. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Comedian Chris Swanson. I like to call him Comedian Chris Swanson because that's what he is. He's a comedian. Chris, you were uh, you you were born here in Philadelphia. Yes, that's but right. But you're sort of a transplant. You were mostly raised in Texas. Yeah, right. Uh, right at right outside Dallas is. Why did your parents move you to Texas? Uh, my dad. There was a lot more money, I guess, going on down there, and um, he also wanted to make sure that I was unhappy for the first like twelve years of my life. So right. <laughs> yeah, he nailed well, it. Well, that takes care of my next question about how you like Dallas. <laughs> Dallas, one of the worst <laughs> places in the world, we all know. Um, and then you moved back here at the age of eighteen. Is that correct? Yeah, I was eighteen. Um, I uh, I knew that I wouldn't get into any schools, so I had to jump over to Valley Forge, which is a private military school, and uh, then I transitioned into Temple. So okay, yeah. were you happy to be in Philadelphia versus the the greater Dallas area? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. A lot of people, um, a lot of people, kind of shit on Dallas, and uh, and I am one of those people. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Dallas is the worst. Um, so uh, what are you doing these days? Uh, well, I work for the building that I live in. And uh, outside of that, I, uh, I do some repairs for uh, like a small company that does like meetings and conferences and shit like that. So. And uh, does that inform your comedy at all or is that just very boring? Uh, yeah, what you said. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's boring, but um, nobody's around. So I actually just I guess I just research comedy the whole time and uh, while I'm fixing stuff. Cool. I understand. In addition to that, you are in school, uh, going for your master's degree in the fine arts. Is that correct? Yeah, it's uh, it's a little dressed up. I mean, the the title itself. I like to just say that I'm going for my master's, so that people kind of get into it a little bit. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, the fine arts is not a thing that people respect. <laughs> no, I mean it's all bullshit. I mean, I don't know. You know, I I, I figure if I'm going to stay in school and advance my career, um, you know, you get the piece of paper, but. I'm not really interested in art. Why? Then why'd you pick fine arts? Uh, I started out in business. That's why I chose it. So you just picked the opposite. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Yeah. All right. That sounds great. Um, so you, you're not hoping to do anything with that. You'd rather just uh, have a career in comedy. Yeah, I'd rather pursue the comedy. Yeah. Or maintenance. Or yeah, yeah. Either either one. Okay. Um, you um have not been doing comedy for that long, correct? How long have you been doing comedy for? Uh, I guess about like nine months. I had my first set down in Santa Monica. I was at this uh, this vegan coffee shop. So, um, you know, I wasn't too impressed my, with myself to uh, make a bunch of like stoners laugh. So I, I wanted to uh, <laughs> make my way up to the Northeast. Everybody says that, that comedy in LA is kind of bullshit. So, you know, I uh, figured I'd try my luck here. Okay, why, why did you decide to do it there that night? Is it something that had been building for a while, or was it just a whim? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's always kind of been my backup plan. Um, I knew that, I knew that I wasn't like cut out for a nine to five, so it's always kind of been my backup plan. I've been writing jokes since I was like, whatever, sixteen or seventeen. So just kind of figured out. And I was in L.A. for way too long. Uh, so okay. So now that you've been doing comedy for a while, what would you say is the toughest part of doing comedy? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the toughest part is kind of learning how your brain works, uh, learning, y you always think you'll remember something like I'll check my, I send myself emails to remember jokes when I'm out. Sure. And, uh, the other day I got this email from myself that was like, it just said Chinese people and caviar, right? <laughs> so I assume there's something really good there, but I did like, you know, so uh, you got to kind of learn the things that you'll remember. Right. Yeah. Should have written down the whole joke. <laughs> yeah. Instead of, because that's not. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? Yeah. I don't know. Bring it to the Tuesday show. Seems <laughs> to have gone over great. I don't know. Um, 
Well, I know you from, uh, you've been doing comedy at the open mic at Fergie's Pub right. lately, and uh, you've actually gone over quite well at Fergie's Pub, and I think that's curious because uh, a lot of the comedians that I know uh, specifically dislike doing comedy in rooms where mainly what's happening that evening is music or anything other than comedy. Uh, but you've been doing quite well at it. Uh, why do you think that is? Uh, you know, I, I, I sort of uh, appreciate the the challenge there. I mean, uh, you know, not I never really know what to expect when I'm when I'm jumping in. Like I said, I'm kind of kind of early on in the game. But you know, one, I, one of the things I really enjoy is uh, kind of seeing the reaction that people have when they don't expect to laugh. Like I want to like it's in there. You know, people want to laugh. Like comedy is very important. So, you know, one of the things that I like to focus on is making sure that you know, people who aren't ready to laugh, like, I don't want to give them the option, you know. And uh, and I, I think, you know, a lot of times what I've heard, too, is that it, it's sort of a nice a nice break. And um, people tend to like, you know, their environment whenever they're successful in it. So Right. Well, you've done quite well. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that you've been doing it. Um, what, what other places do you like to do comedy right now? Uh... I guess, um, you know, whenever I travel, like, uh, you know, whenever I go home, they have, uh, Texas seems to have bars that are a little bit bigger, so they usually have competitions that they set up, so whenever I go home, I like to, I like to do comedy on the road, and, uh, you know, just kind of put myself out of my element, so anywhere new is usually my favorite place. Okay, well, we're almost out of time, but uh, would you like to stay with us to play some subjective trivia, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I'll do that. So we that do some subjective cool. trivia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I got to... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a few questions for you here. Uh, the first one, this is about the mechanics of comedy, you see. Now, this one says, if tragedy plus time equals comedy, how much time does it take? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wanted to award you a correct answer no matter what you said, <laughs> but I can't quite, so that's not correct. Okay. And I don't know the answer either. Okay, so, okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, what is funnier, uh, burps, farts, or seizures? Ooh, yeah, I would say that uh, it depends on the order. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're assuming that people, uh, someone is doing all three in a row? Yeah, isn't it? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is the worst place in Texas? Oh, man. Uh, I would say that the worst place in Texas is, uh, the, probably just anywhere that you are and you're not in Austin. That's definitely correct. Right. Okay. And is, is there anywhere in the world worse than Dallas? Shit, man. Uh, you know, I've been to a lot of places, so. No. That's correct. That's correct. I also would have accepted Orlando, Florida, but that is, that <laughs> is correct. All right. Well, Chris Swanson, I want to thank you for uh, coming out and doing this for us. I know you had to uh, rearrange your schedule on this Tuesday evening. And also that brings us to a close uh, tonight. So I want to thank all my guests. I want to thank Hezekiah Jones.